Welcome to this lesson on slope from an XY table. So we can find the slope of a line given an XY table by finding the ratio of the difference in consecutive Y values and the difference in consecutive X values. So what does that mean? Well, ratio means the fraction, the division, and difference means subtraction. Consecutive means right next to each other. So like 1 and 2, those are consecutive x values. And remember, the differences will remain constant in a linear function. And if you're still like, what? Let's go over an example. <laughs> okay, so we want to find the difference in consecutive y values. So I always do the y first. So from 18 to 15... First of all, I'm subtracting, and I'm subtracting 3, so I'm going to put minus 3. And if you want to do another one, just in case, to make sure, 15 minus 3 is 12. And they should all be the same, because it's linear. For my x values, 1 to 2, I'm adding 1. And just to make sure, 2 to 3, adding 1. It's a constant rate of change, because the linear functions have constant rates of change. Okay, so I've found my differences in consecutive y values and x values. So now I want to find the ratio or the fraction between those. So I'm finding slope, so m. And remember, slope is the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y is negative 3. The change in x is positive 1. And then that reduces to negative 3. So my slope of that line is negative 3. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so I want to do my y values first. So from 5 to 10, I'm adding 5. And if you want to try one more just to make sure you did it right, 10 to 15, I'm adding 5. And then from 2 to 4, I'm adding 2, adding 2. So my slope is 5 over 2. Make sure you can't reduce that, and you cannot. So that's the final answer. All right, let's continue on here. So in the first example, <clears throat> I want to go over this one with you because we don't have y, we have f of x. But it means the same thing. Remember, f of x just means it's a function of x. It's the output. So it's just another way of writing the y value. So I'm going to start over here, and I am adding 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. Just make sure 12 plus another 6, that's 18. And then on the x side, I'm adding 4 adding 4. So my slope is 6 over 4, and that reduces to 3 over 2. All right, I'll do one more with you. So again, this is the same thing as y. g of x, that just means it's a function of x. It's my output value. So I'm adding 1, adding 1. Now for my x values, from 3 to 3, I'm adding 0, adding 0. I'm not going anywhere. So the change in the y value, the output value, is 1 over the change in x is 0. And remember, when you divide by 0, that is undefined. So all that means is if you were to graph these points, it would create a vertical line. Remember, undefined is vertical. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now and try 3 through 6 by yourself. All right, let's see how we did. So on number three, let's see, I'm subtracting three here, and I'm subtracting a seven here. So my slope would be negative three over negative seven, which reduces to, well, it doesn't reduce, but negative divided by negative is a positive three over seven. All right, number four, plus one, plus eight, so my slope is 1 over 8. That doesn't reduce, so that's my answer. All right, the next one, this is my, it outputs my y, so I'm not going anywhere, plus 0, plus 2. So 0 over 2, that is 0, a slope of 0, which means just a horizontal line. And then number 6, plus 5. 
plus 4. So positive 5 over 4. I can't reduce that. I'm going to leave it as an improper fraction. That's my final answer. All right, go ahead and stop the video and you can complete slope review all and check it with your teacher.